It's no doubt that the Flat Earth Movement has been used as a psychological operation with a purpose of division. However, that does not discount the fact that it is based on truth. Over a hundred years ago, the Hawaiian Gazette published a story about a map that was made in the 10th century. This newly discovered map is drawn on the principles of the Mercator projection, echoes the current accepted flat earth model, as well as the UN flag. However, there is one significant difference, and that is that our dome is surrounded by dozens of islands. Reputed to be drawn by Chinese priests, the manuscript was hidden away from authorities for centuries. However, a letter found claims that the map was actually drawn by Buddhist priests much earlier in time. The article goes on to read, The map was found by my brother in a Japanese temple in the mountains of Japan, said Dr. Kabayashi. It has been hidden from the Japanese government in modern times, just as it was in ancient times. For in olden days, such a map would have been destroyed by the authorities. This begs the question, why would the authorities be so concerned about a map that they would destroy it? So what is the truth about where we live? Do we live on a globe, flying through space? Do we live inside of a dome? Are we living on an endless plane? Or are there dozens of civilizations watching and waiting for us to remember who we are and where we come from? I'm calling from Thailand. I wanted to give you some um, important information. I sent it to you over six months ago by email. I never got a reply, so I thought I would phone. Yes, in 1928, Captain Sir George Hubert Wilkins, um, he found an exit to this uh, plane. Uh, he went over 5,000 miles from uh, what they call the end of uh, Antarctica, and he found uh, more lands there. So he, um, I read a book, I managed to get a second-hand book uh, 30 years ago called Worlds Beyond the Poles. And uh, there it's uh, mentioned, this information is mentioned, and also that these planets that we see, or supposedly see, um, are actually um, beyond um, this land of ours. So what I'm saying is, is that um, the reason why they're destroying this planet is because they have a way out of here to save themselves. Yes, this information not only was published in this book, but also it was um, published in the Dumbrova, Dumbrova uh, which is a Russian explorer magazine, 1928. Yeah. Yeah, and also there was a radio announcement um, confirmed by the press in uh, February 5, 1956. Um, uh, on January, 13 members of the United States expedition accomplished a flight of 2,700 miles from the base at um, Makodo Sound, which is 400 miles west of the South Pole and they penetrated a land the extent of 2,300 miles beyond the pole. Also, 
Yeah, yeah, in this book, I also sent you in this email, but I'll send it again. There is, um, it, I mean, it's a, a map to show you that the North and South Poles are not where we think they are. Um, in fact, I've always said that uh, what we know is the North Pole is the Central Pole. North Pole and the South Pole are actually south of our plane, and they're the two exits. In the book, um, World Beyond the Poles, you'll find that he mentions that there's land beyond uh, the North Pole, but I think he's referring to this uh, um, according to the map uh, that um, he's got in the book. I think the North Pole is not what we call the North Pole. I call it the Central Pole. He oh. doesn't mention anything about underground uh, bases that I remember. But I've always been interested, you know. I've known about this for a long time now, at least 30 years. Um, but nobody was talking about it, and, um, you know, what, whatever was on the Internet was just a load of rubbish. You know, even as a child, I always wondered why these explorers, which I was always interested in, um, why, why they, did, they had to come back the same way. If it was a globe, why, why didn't they just continue and come out the other side when they went to a pole, you know? That's also proof, you know? <laughs>